Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the introduction to operating systems. So usually this operating system we call as OS. So OS stands for operating system, right? So the definition of an operating system is OS is an interface between user and computer user and computer right so i'll explain about this individual individual word that is interface right so we are saying that operating system will act as an interface between the user and a computer so what is this interface this interface is also i mean for better understanding i'm writing this one so interface can be uh, treated as a mediator a mediator so mediator that means which is used for communication between the user and a computer okay so and also the operating system is a software is a software which manages the hardware which manages the hardware right so our computer will be having the hardware right so hardware means so we'll get the memory io devices okay and etc everything will be comes under this hardware right so cpu main thing we have forgotten about this main thing cpu that means a processor processor and etc so everything we call it as an hardware right so in order to communicate with all these things we require one software which is called this operating system best example so consider a computer so here we are having some sort of keys so we are having some uh, keys right so there will be some okay so if you press this keys okay if you press this keys the key will be printed on the screen if you press a for example we will be having all the keys here so for understanding i'm writing only a b and c okay so if you press a the a will be displayed here and immediately if you press b a b will be displayed and if you press c the c will be displayed here and etc right so whatever the input we are giving from the keyboard immediately that same thing will be appeared on the monitor itself right so this happens with the help of a software called operating system so that's why that's why we are saying the operating system is a software which manages the hardware right so here we are interacting with the computer right we are interacting with the system with the help of some sort of hardware right so here we are using some input devices so input device like a keyboard or a mouse right and we are getting the output in the output device so there must be one interface between these things so what we are giving the instructions and what the system understands everything will be done with the help of this operating system right so let me give you a diagram for this one for better understanding and also the operating system is a system software it's a system software so that we we have uh, seen in the previous sessions about the categories of softwares that is a system software and application software so system software means which manages the hardware is called the system software 
okay the software which manages the hardware is called the system software and another one is the application software application software so which we call it is an application software so here the example is operating system and also some sort of drivers drivers software drivers so for every hardware there will be a some soft, sort of software so unless you install the software the hardware will not be get worked right so some of some operating system will get these drivers inbuilt okay with the operating system that's uh, different right so every hardware will be having the drivers and to work the to to work the hardware properly we have to install the drivers and these drivers are also known as the system software and application software these are the softwares which are meant for a specific task or functionality some sub specific application for example some uh, media player so this software is used to play the media that means either audio or a video okay and text editor text editor so this is a software which is used for writing the text okay so like uh, word excel so all these are nothing but application softwares application software so these are meant for a particular task okay system software which manages the software i mean which manages the hardware is called the system software we are having two types that is the operating systems and the drivers so without operating systems we can't interact with the system okay so we can interact but we have to pass each and every instruction each and every instruction so it would be very difficult for the user to interact with the computer without operating system so to make the user easily accessible this operating system will help okay now let us have the structure of this operating system so the importance importance of operating system so the lower is hardware so this is the hardware and here we are having the operating system because this operating system will manage the hardware right and this operating system again we are we are having applications okay and here we'll be having the users here we'll be having the users right so user 1 user 2 user 3 and so on user n so number of users can be applied so these users will use the applications and these applications will be implemented or executed by the hardware with the help of operating system okay so these are the applications and in order to run the applications we require the operating system right so without the operating system we can't run these applications example let us take the c program let us take the c program so the first step we'll write the instructions we'll write the instructions and we'll save the file with the .c so that is a source code so we'll prepare the source code for a c program and the second step we'll do the compilation process or uh, we'll save the file okay we'll save the file save the file okay and where it will be stored it will be stored in hard disk hard disk that means secondary memory secondary memory so hard disk means secondary memory and again after that we'll use a compilation process compile the program again that will be in hard disk itself and whenever you are using the run or execute execute so after successful compilation we'll execute the program in order to get the output so once you run the program or execute the program what happens so the object file will be 
given to this particular hardware right the object file generated by the compilation process will be given to the hardware hardware here is nothing but cpu so all the applications will be executed by the processor itself so our system is having some processor so that processor will execute the object code and this cpu will access only the main memory main memory so it will not execute the applications from the hard disk it will execute the applications or processes from the main memory itself so during the run running or execution the object file generated from the compilation process will be stored into the main memory and it will be available for executing by the processor and all this process will be done by the operating system right so hope you understood so once the compilation process is done we'll get the object file and see remember every process will be executed by the processor itself every process so here so we are saying that uh, execution of a program is also a process right execution of program is also a process and see the cpu cpu will access everything from the main memory main memory but the files are in secondary memory so now during the execution the object file which is generated from the compilation will be stored into the main memory that means it will locate or it will load the object file to the main memory because the cpu will execute the processes from only the main memory so this process will be done by the operating system so that's why operating system is an interface between the user and the hardware if, if you want to execute any programs so that programs will be done in the applications and that will be executed by the cpu with respect to the operating system with, with the help of operating system right so whatever the programs we are writing those programs or processes whatever the process we want to execute so if you want to uh, i mean listen to a music so everything everything will be loaded into the main memory and it will be executed by the processor and this process will be done with the help of operating system right so that is the importance of operating system so i think the point is very clear so what exactly this interface interface is called as a mediator it will act as a mediator right so in between the user and a computer so user and the computer means the cpu or a hardware input devices output devices whatever it may be everything comes under the hardware so in order to communicate the user with the hardware there should be one application that, i mean there should be one system software called the operating system right so in in our further sessions we'll go in deep about this operating system so what are the functions what are the services provided by this operating system and Uh, we'll see one by one in our further sessions so hope you understood this uh, basic introduction about the operating system the definition and the importance of operating system right so if you really understood my session and enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much